This is Lucas, and we're looking at the uh, spindle runout in this Logan uh, 825 10 inch by 24 inch lathe, 1946 vintage. And uh, we're looking at the uh, oh the needle deviation here, and it's actually very very good. We're talking maybe oh two ten thousandths or so uh, variance, and that could be just uh, any little nicks or scratches that have occurred to the uh, inside of that socket and. Uh, Socket's actually very, uh, very good. It looks uh, very clean. So that's the kind of uh, accuracy that uh, this uh, this lathe still maintains after so many years. It's a really very well maintained machine. Okay, I'm going to show a method of aligning the tailstock and headstock on uh, a 10-inch Logan 825 lathe, and uh, we've got a centering indicator which is uh, this device here it's uh, available from a little machine shop works really well and what I've got is I've got the uh, it's actually a rotor in the uh, indicator itself and it's in a in a, a collet uh, chuck we're starting to get a little squeaky just gonna nail it with a little WD-40 so anyway, this uh, this device is in the in the uh, headstock. It's in a collet, so it's very precisely in the center. And on this end, we've got it in going around in the tailstock socket. So this is our indicated uh, runout. Uh, this system works really well for uh, setting actually the offset front to back. We can adjust that offset with these uh, offset adjusting nuts. Uh, actually, can't see it. There we go. And then uh, I've actually adjusted the up and down on this using shims between the, the uh, base of this tailstock and the upper part of the tailstock. So I'm just going to shut the lathe off here, loosen up the uh, drive so we can turn the spindle by hand. And then uh, let's do that. So if we, uh, if we run this, we, we can check front and back by putting this indicator, for instance, on the front of the tailstock and then looking at the uh, indication here, we're right at one of these black divisions. And then we can rotate that back and look at, uh, again, how much this has moved and we can see that we're actually very good alignment uh, front to back with the headstock. We can do the same thing for up and down alignment by running this indicator now in the uh, up direction like that and checking our uh, indicated dial and then uh, again rotating this system and looking at it on the other side which would be the down direction and if these two agree very well and they're very close actually uh, we, we can say we're good otherwise we can uh, split these two and insert a shim in here and in fact that's what I've done on this uh, tailstock compensate for any wear that's occurred either to the bottom of the tailstock casting or to the ways. More than likely it's the tailstock casting. Uh, this is Lucas signing off.